Tonight at 10, a Scottsdale man under arrest for allegedly tricking people into donating to a charity event supposedly helping wounded war warriors and veterans who police say never existed. So Robert Alexander now charged with that scheme and tonight investigators believe that there could be even more potential victims. Team 12's Chase Golightly is looking into the case for us and actually spoke to one of them. Chase. Police say for several months, Alexander has been going to Valley Golf Courses and convincing people to donate to a golf tournament to help veterans. What finally got him arrested is when the victims called the golf course where the tournament was supposed to be held, and they found out there wasn't one. It's an alleged scheme that targeted people's hearts. Scottsdale police say Robert Alexander swindled Valley golfers by asking them to donate to a charity golf tournament hosted by the Wounded Warrior Project. I feel so violated. Lindsay Meisner, a veteran, was out with her friend when she says Alexander approached them. And he introduced himself as Rob, so we started golfing. After a few hours on the course, he pitched her on the charity tournament. And I'm like, oh, I'm an Army vet. Like, how cool would that be? Court documents claim Alexander did this multiple times, golfers giving him hundreds of dollars in cash to play. But once he hooked them in, Investigators say he would sell them on another. And he was like, well, I do these coupon books for the school, and then I donate $2,500 back to it to a charity. Meisner says her daughter has cystic fibrosis, a disease that affects protein in the body. Knowing this could help raise money, she bought in, paying Alexander $10,000 in cash. And he said it's just, it's better tax-wise. But Meisner figured out something was wrong when Alexander stopped responding to her calls and texts. I mean, I just triggered. I was like, what is going on? Meisner isn't alone. Police say Alexander received thousands of dollars from people on this and other supposed fundraisers, like a golf ball resale investment. Police got involved when some of the victims called the golf course and learned there was no tournament. And the Wounded Warrior Project said they had no idea this was happening. I felt sick. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't slept since I found out. Looking back at her interaction with Alexander, Meisner says she should have known not to trust him. I just didn't see any red flags. Wanting the word to get out so those other victims can come forward. He's going to just keep destroying so many people's lives. Now, Alexander has been accused of fraud in Arizona for at least two decades. The Arizona Corporation Commission says not only has he faced at least a dozen civil lawsuits, but he spent time in prison and had to pay $10 million in restitution for wire fraud. We're live in the Alert Center. Chase Golightly, 12 News.